Today on The Way of Ramen, we're taking this and turning it into this. This is an instant ramen recipe that not only tastes great, it only has 11 ingredients and takes less than 10 minutes to make. So stop just cracking eggs into your ramen and calling it a day. Let's level up, shall we? So like I said, this recipe is actually really simple and I tried to use ingredients that aren't too hard to find. We're gonna start off by grating a small piece of ginger and a few cloves of garlic. You want about a teaspoon of each of them after they're grated. Next, we're gonna grind up three tablespoons of sesame seeds. I'm using a suribachi pestle, but if you don't have this, you can use a small food processor or a spice grinder. You just wanna break these down until they start to stick together. Next, we're gonna prep some green onions for toppings. You can slice these any way you want, but I'm gonna use just the white parts and cut them up into strips to make what's called shiranegi, because I think it looks nice for this bowl. But you do you, this is your instant ramen, this is your bowl of ramen, just do whatever you wanna do. Okay, so now for the cooking. This is gonna be really quick and easy. We're gonna get a small pot and heat up some sesame oil in here. And to that, we're gonna add about 60 grams of ground pork or beef, your grated ginger and garlic, and about half a teaspoon of tobanjang. This is a Chinese broad bean chili sauce, and you should be able to find this in any Asian food section in most grocery stores. We're just gonna give this a quick mixy mix and then cook the pork through. Once your pork is cooked through, add 200 milliliters or a little less than one cup of water and give that a mix and bring this to a simmer. Then add your noodle block and you're just gonna cook these noodles until they just start to separate or about a minute and a half. After your noodles are separated, you're gonna add 100 milliliters of milk and 100 milliliters of water, or about half a cup of milk and half a cup of water. Give that a mix and mix and then add in your ground sesame seeds to the soup. At this point, you wanna give the soup a taste and see how salty it is and then add some of your soup packet to season. I added about half my packet for my bowl, but this might be more or less than you need based upon what brand of ramen you're using. Just taste it and adjust to your liking. Mix it all up and then cook your noodles until you're liking. I think I went for another minute and a half from here and I just tasted it along the way to make sure that I didn't need any more seasoning. And that's pretty much it. To plate this, we're gonna do a miso ramen style plating and putting the noodles down first. This is not how you serve most ramen, but I wanted the ground meat to kind of land on top of the noodles and act like a topping. So noodles in first and then pour the soup and meat right in the middle of that and that should end up looking pretty nice. Top with your green onion, and if you like it spicier and you have some on hand, some rayu chili oil. And that is a quick and dirty instant ramen version of a style of ramen called tan tan men. Now before anybody comments on how this is not dan dan noodles, no it's not. It's tan tan men. It's a Japanese take on dan dan noodles. And in Japan, funny enough, they call dan dan noodles soupless tan tan men. And while we're at it, this is also a pretty inauthentic bowl of tan tan men, but whatever, it tastes really good. And if all you've ever had is instant ramen, give this recipe a try and I think you'll like it. And I think you'll be surprised at how much it doesn't taste like instant ramen. It's pretty spicy though, so if you don't like spice, maybe this is not the bowl for you. Anyways, let me know what you guys think of this bowl and how you usually do your instant ramen. If you guys want, I can do more instant ramen hacks and recipes. I actually planned to do a few of them for this video, but this bowl was so good, I ate it all and I ended up being full, so I couldn't keep filming that day. As always, you can follow me on Instagram at Way of Ramen. Please send me your pictures of what you're making. I always love to see them. And if you want to join the hooligans that hang out on our ramen Discord server, I'll have a link for that in the description below. Right now, we're holding a shitty ramen cook-off, and the first place prize is a wooden cutting board scraper. Details for the contest are pinned in the giveaways and contest channel. That's it for this one. Thank you guys all so much for the support. I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.